Today I just wanted to uh, make a few comments about the news release about the findings of the blood is being made inside of the intestine. That was actually a, a, a huge topic. It's been a huge topic, especially in Japan, for the last 50, 60 years. Um, the news actually con uh, concluded, the news on the uh, November 30th, um, actually I think it was posted first, uh, really concluded that the, uh, a lot of the scientists actually found out that the blood cell was also created inside of the guts, which is a small intestine. So that's really great news. Uh, it will be a lot of good, uh, it'll be really beneficial for many of the uh, natural medical practitioners uh, such as oriental medicine and also you know uh, Ayurvedic and whatnot all over the world because if you if you're to look at all the um, principles of the of the natural medicine the foundation is the blood and where is the blood be, be made is is in the intestines but Many times, uh, because of our modern, you know, the concept states that the blood cell was only um, distributed, um, actually it was, it was made only in a bone marrow. So a lot of the practitioners some, uh, somewhat thought the, uh, they, they weren't so sure uh, wh what to believe, you know, that that, that was happening. So now, uh, since the, you know, the medical and the regular science, uh, science uh, community has caught up to the I guess the proper, um, you know, the, the, the origin, the proper origin of the blood and where it's been made, that is actually going to help all the medical community. It's going to be very beneficial. So it's a very good start. Along with the regular bone marrow hematopoiesis, now the intestinal hematopoiesis is right. So that really makes very um, great change for a lot of people's understanding about food. Which is this is this becomes very important because the health is directly tied to what you eat as you know for the diet. So if you're thinking that the the blood is being made somewhere in the bone, you're just gonna look at the food and the diet like it's just another nutrition. What you know, it's not really important, you know, uh, uh, so much as if you now understand that the blood is also being made in the intestines, then you would think directly that you're going to tie the food in as when you eat the food you'll go into your stomach you'll get digested in the intestines and now that becomes your blood which goes around throughout the whole corner of the body so it's a really important um, concept for a regular public as well I want to also mention about the Dr. Morishita uh, Keiichi he's a hematologist in trade and also he practiced internal medicine and all that um, he does everything based on the natural medicine. So he's known as a Dr. Morishita of natural medicine. He's very, um, uh, he's been around for many years. Uh, he takes care of patients' uh, condition by taking care of the blood. So it's really simple. But anyways, he actually um, was already testifying about the tomato, uh, intestinal tomato poesis um, by 1960s in the Japanese uh, diet testimony in the parliament in, in, in the in, in the governmental you know situation he was already talking about that very clearly and also some, uh, some of his books he has published over 90 books and you know um, he, he has published six over 600 uh, 600 medical magazine monthly magazines too by the way uh, anyways this um, book called Shizen Igaku no Kiso um, in a direct translation would be the principles of the natural medicine. If you look at the, uh, the face cover, this is the picture of the blood being made in the gut, which is the intestinal hematopoiesis. So he has all these things. He has made everything very scientific. So if you look at it all inside, it's very interesting how, how, the, uh, how the, where the blood originates to where it goes and what is the source of disease to whatnot. So I think it will be very interesting for all the people, uh, not just in the medical community, but for a normal people to read, it's really great. Uh, this is uh, going to be turning into English, we're translating into English now, and all these are going to be based on the Aloha medicine. So um, I hope everybody looks forward to that too. Thank you.